What's up, Daily Dosers? My name's Sean Brazil. I work at our Rancho Bernardo campus with our high school ministry, and we are wrapping up our series called Epiphany, where we're looking at these kind of aha moments that we've had in our relationships with Jesus. And if you would, go ahead and open up to Psalm 23, and I'll share with you this, this moment of life where I had this light go off, where things just kind of clicked for me in my prayer life with God. Go to read with me. It says, the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies and you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all of the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I remember a season of my life where I was just, I was just kind of consumed with my needs and my wants, and um, I remember for just a stretch of it, everything about my phone. I, I just, I was looking to my phone to kind of get me out of boredom, and I would look to it for entertainment. It would always lead me into these. Um, repetitive cycles of sin. And then on top of that, I was I was single at the time. And in that season, I, I just wanted attention. I wanted relationship. And because of that, I would just look to different people to provide that for me. I kind of bounced from person to person to person, looking for someone to fulfill this want for attention and this want for relationship and just having these things unmet or being met by sin that only brought me into shame or to find things that didn't do the trick. So I would just search and search and search. Church. And I remember sitting with a friend who pointed me to this passage and I was like, that's kind of weird because this, this passage had historically been like the antidote for fear for me. That if I was like worried about something, right, the, the shepherd would lead me through the dark valley and I would be um, absent of fear because of that. And when I heard Psalm 23, I was actually directed to the first line of this passage to just sit and to rest in the truth of it. It says, the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. And for this, this aha moment for me was to sit in the truth that, right, the Lord is my shepherd because God is there. And if I lean into God, I will learn that there is, there is no need that he can't meet. And Daily Dosers, I, I want to challenge you to press into that as well. That, right, if it's a, a sense of joy, if it's a sense of fulfillment, if it's a sense of relationship, to be seen, to be known, to be loved, to, to find comfort, that our call as believers is not to search after things or a phone or pornography or just a serial date to jump from person to person to person or to even find our whole entire purpose in a job or a career, but it's to rest in the full presence of God knowing that in him he can meet every single need. And in this realization, in this conversation with a friend and sitting in the truth of this passage, it was revealed to me that, right, I can bring any need to God. And maybe my needs look a lot different than my friends. And maybe the things that I need are things that other people don't need. But in the perfect presence of God, he has the full ability to meet every single need. And the challenge I want to extend to you, daily dosers today, is to look at that. What are my needs? right? We've always got them. They're super normal. They're always valid, but they've always been meant to be brought to God and to allow him to fully take care of us. So daily dosers, what's that need and how can you bring it to the foot of the always present shepherd so that we can rest in his presence? We love you a ton. We'll see you around.